Okay, guys, this is what you're going to be making today. So with fringe, guys, this is 108 inches by 7 inches. And with without fringe, it's 78 by 7. But this is what you're going to be making today. I used medium full weight yarn for this. This has not been washed. It's a little on the stiff side. When I wash it, it will be nice and soft. But this is what you will be ma making today. And this is the fringe you'll have on it. Very easy pattern. I think you guys will enjoy this. And the color options are limitless. Okay, so this is what we're going to be making. And what you need to do is you're going to have, you may want to write your color flow down. You're going to have your color A, B, C, A, B, C, a, B, C, and A. Now, this measures seven inches wide. So, if you need yours wider than that, just continue on with B, C, and see where that puts you. And then you'll end with A, see where that puts you. And if you feel like you need another three more rows, go ahead. Because it depends on the yarn that you're using and the hook size. Now, for this project, I am using an eye hook 5.5 millimeter medium full weight yarn in color a b and c need scissors you will need a yarn needle and that's really about all you need so let's go ahead and get started um we're going to move b and c over here we're going to start with color a and the first thing you need to do is this is a multiple of an even number and then you add two. So for mine to be 78 inches long with a medium four weight yarn and an eye hook, because this is so, uh, solely customizable. You can use any hook size, any yarn weight that you want. Um, it just depends on how many you chain, depends on how long you get it. Um, and that would depend on, you know, like chain so many of them with the, whatever your yarn and hook you're using, wrap it around your neck, let it see how far it hangs down and go from there and that'll give you an idea of how many chains just make sure it's an even number and then add two okay so um first of all we're going to start off with our color a and i am chain you need to for this one if you want it if you're using these yarn weights you need to chain 200 plus two so you'll need to chain 202 and of course i'm only going to do a sample size so that the video will be short, but you will understand what I'm doing. Okay, so go ahead and chain 202. Okay, now that you've got your chain, Go ahead and you're going to work a cluster in the fourth chain from the hook, a double crochet cluster. And it's going to be, there, there will be three double crochets in that cluster. So let me, let's show, show you how to do that. Yarn over, skip the first, second, third, and in the fourth chain from the hook, do your double crochet, but a half of a double crochet. Only go halfway. That leaves two on your hook. That was one. Do it again, just half, at least three on the hook. One more time. And that left four on the hook. So now, yarn over and pull through all four. Okay, chain one. Skip this next chain. And in this chain, do another one, another cluster. So yarn over, insert your hook in the chain. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two loops. That was a half a double crochet. Do it again. Now you got three loops on your hook. Do it one more time. Gonna do it three times. Now you should have four loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all four. Chain one. And here's how it is looking right now. First you have a chain three right here. And with that chain three, um, counts as a double crochet and then you have the, your cluster 
and then you have your next cluster. Okay, so skip the next chain, go to the next chain. And we're going to do another cluster. So you just do it in the first two loops there, yarn over, search your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. And that leaves three on the hook. Do it again, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. Now you got four on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all four. Chain one. Skip the next chain, and in the next chain, make another cluster. We're going to do this all the way down. So there should be a three double crochet cluster is what you're doing. And chain one. And that's what it looks like now. Okay, so skip the next chain and in the next chain do your three double crochet cluster together. So there's one. So you just do a half of a double crochet. Two. And then there's three. Now you have four loops on your hook. Chain one. Skip the next chain. In this last chain, we are going to work one double crochet. Just like that. So you basically have a chain three on one end and a double crochet on the other, which that chain three does count as a double crochet. So technically you have double crochet on each end. Okay, so now we need to change colors. Now that you've gone all the way to the end, let's change to color B. Now you can carry your colors up because you're going to put fringe on the end, so it will be okay. Let's grab your color B, Chain three, one, two, three. Turn your work. Cluster in the next chain space, which will be right here. One, two, three. You should have four on your hook all the way through. Chain one. And then now you're going to be working in the um, chain spaces. So work a cluster. There's one, two, three. Yarn over, pull through all four loops. Chain one. Now you're going to work in the next chain one space. Do that half of a double crochet three times. That. You have four on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all th four loops. Chain one. Here's how it's looking now. And I didn't tie this off. Now I will have to, I will tie a knot in this. Or I can go ahead and do it now. There's no need in um, tying this off yet, fastening that off yet. Okay, so continue on. There's one, two, three. Yarn over, pull through all four loops, chain one. And in the next chain one space, there was one, two, three. Yarn over, pull through all four loops, chain one. Now what you're going to do on the end is you're just going to um, double crochet in the top of that chain three space. There we go. And that's what you have now. So now we're going to change colors again. And so grab your color C that you want.
chain three, one, two, three. And if you want, you can go ahead and put a knot to lock in that beige color to keep it from coming out. Okay, so turn your work. And now you're going to, now that you've tied that off, now you're going to work a three double crochet cluster in that chain one space. There's one, two, three. And then chain one. And now you're going to continue that in each of the chain one spaces all the way down. And then chain one. Okay. One, two, three, chain one, one, two, three, chain one. One, two, three, chain one. When you get to the end, do a double crochet in the top of that chain three. Just double crochet. And that's what it looks like now. And it should be nice and straight. All right, so now you're going to grab color A it's okay that it does that because you're going to uh, put fringe on the end of this. So it will be just fine. So grab color A. Chain three. One, two, three. Turn your work. And if you're doing three colors, you can do this technique where you just pull the yarn up. Because the yarn will always be on the end that you want. Like when you get down here, you're going to color B. The color B will be here waiting for you. When you go across and you need this color C, the color C will be waiting for you. You can do that with three colors. Okay, so let's do a a three double crochet trip, a three double crochet cluster in this next chain one space. It's one, two. Three. Yarn over, pull through all four loops, chain one. And then keep doing that in each of the chain one spaces. One, two, three. There we go. One, two, three. One, two, three, chain one. Okay, when you're getting close to the end, do you want it in that last chain one space? All right, when you get to the very end here where that chain three is, you're going to make a double crochet in the top of the chain three. There you go. And that's how it's looking now. Obviously, it looks like my cream yarn here is a thicker yarn than these because <laughs> they come out bigger. All right, so now you're going to drop that one and you're going to grab the color B and see how it was sitting here waiting. So kind of hold that down with your thumb as you make your one, two, three. Turn your work and in that space right there, do your three double crochet cluster. That's one, two, three. And you shift four in a loop. Just like that. One more time in the next one. There we go.
Okay, when you get to the end right here, work a double crochet in the top of the chain three. And it looks like this. And we're going to go ahead and do uh, color C. And see how C is waiting for us over here. See how color C is waiting for us. Chain three, one, two, three. Turn our work. And in that first chain one space, we're going to work our three double crochet cluster. So you go to half, a half of a double, half of a double. By this point, you should know how to do this. And then just keep repeating the three double crochet cluster in each of the chain one spaces. There we go. Now I'm on the very end. I'm going to chain three in the top. I mean, I'm going to double crochet in the top of my chain three. Now I'm going to do one more row and I'm going to do the color A right here. Chain three. Turn our work. All right, so now let's repeat that same process. Three double crochet cluster in the first chain one space. There's one, two, three, chain one. And keep repeating that in each of the chain one spaces. Chain one. Now double crochet in the top of that chain three. Okay, okay, see our edges are nice and straight. So now we're going to fasten off. Now, if, like I said, if you're doing this pattern, you'll want to do this many like this. I repeated this once, two, three times, and it ended with my blue here. Okay, so you'll want to do yours at least this wide. That's how wide it is here. So you'll want to go at least three rounds of your color ABC, 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 and then end it with your first color, color A. Um, but like I said, if you want yours wider, you can do that. And you can't carry these yarns unless you do a different, unless you're doing three colors in that kind of sequence, then you can carry the yarn. All right, so let's go ahead and do our fringe. If you're on this part now. So just leave a little strand of yarn. That's going to be part of your strand, part of your fringe. Um, these can be cut to be part of your strand as well. You don't have to weave these in. Yay! There's little to hardly no weaving. And you can leave that. It's going to be part of your fringe. And so will this gray. We'll make the gray part of the fringe. Okay. There we go. So see, we kind of got strands. Instead of weaving those in, we're just going to keep those as parts of the strands. I did 10 sets of six 11 inch strands 10 sets you uh, measure off 11 right there measure off 11 each of my fringe pieces here had 
six strands of yarn. You need six of these. Okay, I'll show you how to do one. This is six pieces, 11 inches. Make sure you got these, like right there, put your finger in here. And you're going to, need a tape measure. Um, you're going to insert your hook in this empty space right here, that chain three space. Grab the yarn. Now when you go to pull through, grab that strand that you started off with right here. Go ahead and include that in it so that you don't have to weave it in. It'll just be part of your fringe. There we go, see? Now that piece that you had hanging is gonna be part of your fringe and the same thing's gonna happen with these. You're gonna do the same thing with those that are hanging. They'll just be part of your fringe. And when you get through, You'll need to lay them all out, and we're going to cut across and trim them up. Okay, I'm going to show you how to, I'm going to start on the other end and put one. Put your fingers through here, like that. Make sure that loose strand is included in your fringe. There you go. You're going to put your fringe on each one of these rows. That's one, two, three, four, five, like that, six. Each one of those. Like I did right here. See, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I had ten rows. So I have ten fringe going across okay now you just need to continue putting the fringe across there all the way across and uh, do it on the other side just make sure that when you do this you turn it your thing this way and work on this side so that these little humps are in the same direction because if not one side will look like this and then on, on yours and then the other side look like that which is okay when you're wearing it like this you just don't want the opposite side to be this side you want whatever your front panel is to match the other half of the front panel all right when you get done all you've got to do is and i've already done this but you just lay your fringe out like this and put your hand like this and then you just take a pair of scissors and you just cut across like that to kind of even up your fringe straighten it up and that's all you do and that's all you do so you have you a nice scarf to wear Okay, guys, you've done it. You made yourself a scarf. Um, I thank you very much. I hope you enjoy it. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe. And um, I will see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.